Hi, my name is Leslie Genzel. I am the program director for Beacon Law. We're a program of the Beacon of Downtown Houston. What services does your organization provide for Houston veterans and families? So the services that Beacon Law provides for Houston veterans and their families are civil legal services to remove barriers to employment, housing, health care. Uh, generally, the greatest need is in removal of fines and fees affecting access to a valid driver's license, uh, and then also sealing criminal records that are uh, creating a barrier to employment and housing. What are the eligibility requirements for the organization? So our, uh, the eligibility requirements for services through Beacon Law, we generally follow a 200% of the federal poverty guideline as an income threshold. Um, we can be flexible on that sometimes, uh, depending on the circumstance and the need. Uh, and then generally we work with a population that is housing unstable. So if you're going to have trouble making your mortgage or rent payments, things like that, um, come into our criteria as well. Following a referral through the combined arms portal, how do you connect with the veteran? So once we receive a referral through the combined arms portal, we reach out to that veteran through email or phone, and we have an online application that we ask them to complete that it can be done at a computer, at a, on a cell phone, um, and then generally we, we try to limit the amount of time that the individual has to come back to our office. We try to limit appointments. We can usually do all of the legal work um, via communications on the phone and, and through email. What sets your organization apart from other organizations? So what sets Beacon Law apart from other organizations is that we really try to focus on foundational issues of access to income, employment, um, housing, and health care. And so we don't usually get into sticky family law debates. Um, we're not the disability VA disability provider. We refer to Lone Star Legal Aid, South Texas College of Law, other agencies, and, and we receive referrals from them because driver's license and criminal history are really um, the things that we do really well, and we try to be a service to other agencies the same. Um, favorite? I don't have a favorite, I don't think. The ones that grow. Ones that grow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the last thing you saw that you said, wow, that was, that was good? I have a really beautiful eggplant plant that's doing right. really well right now. So eggplants grow out of the ground. Yes. And they like just hang. Yeah. Huge yeah. So like the big ones, do they just weigh the entire plant down? I don't have the big ones. I have the Japanese ones and they're thin. So, so far I'm curious to see how they... What are the Japanese ones look like? They're just long and thin. Huh. Yeah. So are they, they're not, are they purple? Just like... They're still purple or they come variegated or sometimes they're green. Okay. So, yeah. Never knew that. Yeah. Um, what's the most interesting... Um, uh, can you tell me other interesting vegetables I probably wouldn't know about? Um, I planted some amaranth. It's a grain. It's like an ancient grain. that It's used decoratively in floral arrangements a lot because it just makes this, it, it's like these gigantic clusters of dark purple, like seeds. What does it taste like? Nothing. A grain. It's just super simple. Yeah. Uh, tell me your name again. Leslie Ginzel. With who? With Beacon Law, a so program of the Beacon. Sorry. Leslie, uh, sorry. <laughs> my name is Leslie Ginzel. I'm with Beacon Law, a program of the Beacon. Thanks. All right, thank you. That's sad. I can't think of anything that's been <laughs> like a funny story. <laughs> it's been a stressful couple weeks. <laughs> You're good. You're good. I'm like, I don't want to be the one. It's all good. I think there was a more busy area that we could have set this up. You know like, what? We had like four other options and this was the best. Thing. Seriously? Um, That's so also, funny. It's fine. Like